Hello and welcome. I'm Chai Hoffelenia and this is your 6 p.m. wrap. The campaign season for the Philippine presidential elections kicks off Tuesday. Administration standard bearer Mar Rojas begins campaigning in his stronghold copies. Senator Miriam Santiago and her running mate Bongbong Marcos launch their campaign in Ilocos, Marcos's bailiwick, while Vice President Jejomar Binay woos voters in Mandaluyong. Frontrunner Senator Grace Poe, despite facing several disqualification cases, kicks off her campaign in Plaza Miranda. And Davao City Mayor Rudy Duterte is set to cap off day one of the campaign season in Tondo, Manila. Follow Rappler.com for continuing updates. A crisis in the Commission on Elections. Elections in May 9 may be postponed in a few areas. Comelec Commissioner Christian Lim says the poll body suffers an incompatibility issue with system codes, prompting them to delay ballot printing. Lim hopes this will not happen, while Comelec Chairman Andres Bautista says it can even turn out to be a blessing in disguise. Bautista adds this gives Comelec more time to design a shorter ballot. <music> MRT3 Assets owner MRT Holding says former Transportation Secretary Mar Rojas and successor June Abaya may be liable for graft for mishandling the MRT3 system. MRT Holdings Chairman Robert Sobrepeña says Rojas and Abaya may face graft charges over two reasons, their inaction on proposals to maintain the train system and the award of the MRT3 maintenance contract to, quote, incapable, unqualified providers. He adds the Department of Transportation awarded a huge contract to a Korean-Filipino joint venture, a two-month-old company with a capital of only 600,000 pesos. Abaya insists his office, quote, did due diligence before awarding the contract to the Busan-led partnership. The Busan Transportation Corporation, one of the most reliable train experts worldwide, has been operating and maintaining Busan's mass transit system since 1999. This comes as Rojas kicks off his presidential campaign in his stronghold copies. Senator Sonny Trillanes posts a 10,000 peso bail for the libel case filed against him by dismissed Makati Mayor Junjun Binay. Binay filed the complaint in 2015 after Trillanes accused the family of paying off Court of Appeals justices to issue resolutions in their favor. The senator remains unfazed and says the case will not stop him from going after the Binays. Trillanes, who's also running for vice president, is part of the Senate Blue Ribbon Committee that investigated the corruption charges against Vice President Jejomar Binay, his son Junjun, and his alleged dummies. South Korean officials say the rocket North Korea launched Sunday appears to be more powerful than the one in 2012. Officials estimate the rocket has an increased range of 12,000 kilometers compared to the old one of about 10,000 kilometers. The wider range puts the North's known rival United States within reach, but South Korean defense officials say they need more information to get the rocket's exact range, adding the North doesn't have the capacity to turn it into a ballistic missile. That's your 6 p.m. wrap. Watch your updates daily at 12 noon and 6 p.m. I'm Chai Hofilenya. Remember, tomorrow begins today.